Greetings friends and welcome to another video on this YouTube channel. So today uh, we are going to discuss the next part uh, after the Beam Software Appliance deployment video that by the way I think I will going to leave it around here and you will be able to see it uh, just in case that you miss it right. Um, the video has um, lots of uh, views already and lots of comments so that means you are trying already today Beam Software Appliance um, version 13 so it it has many 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 uh, new functionality and uh, on that video we we reviewed together uh, the after the deployment uh, we just deep dive or, or at least a quick overview of the uh, new web client right but many of the questions that I received uh, on the on that on that channel or even that I see on the community right on the forums or Twitter, LinkedIn, and so on. It's regarding like, okay, I cannot do this specific thing on the web client. I cannot add, like, for example, I don't know, ISCASI uh, repositories or NFS repositories. I cannot add agents. What about my Proxmox, et cetera, et cetera, right? So um, I just wanted to do this video, which is the continuation in any case, because all of that functionality, it is still there, right? So uh, it's still a, a part of the Beam Software Appliance, it's just that you need the uh, Windows console to uh, uh, to start e utilizing all of it, right? So that Windows console that we had uh, in the past, right? So that it has been uh, totally refreshed with a new look and feel, a new experience, new technology even, you know, uh, as well. It's, uh, it, it changed. So I think this video uh, is going to be good that we just uh, install it together, that I show you where you can download this uh, uh, this console in case you miss it. And then we just, I don't know, take a quick overview um, together because everything else, it's just the same as you have been using for the past years. You know, I don't know, you might be a bit new, might be using V for a few years. Maybe you are like, a, like an expert already and you have been using the console for five uh, or even 10 years or more, right? So all of that uh, knowledge that you've been doing, it is still there. So let me show you how you can uh, get the console in a Beam Software Appliance, just in case you miss it, right? Um, because I saw that question. So let's go uh, into the into the lab and then, uh, okay, let me take a quick look. So as you can see here uh, on the on the login itself, you can see that there is a link here to download the, uh, the, the, the Beam Backup and Replication Console, right? So uh, let's do that. I'm going to download it directly from, from that link. And then I will, I'm will. i going to just to click Install. Um, I'm going to accelerate this process uh, so you do not need to wait here with me while all of this installs. I think in real time it took in my computer because it's a bit busy. Uh, with video and everything, recording and so on, and many, many uh, browser tabs. I think it took around seven minutes uh, end to end because in, I needed to install the, the .NET and other libraries that uh, I don't know, I, I didn't have for some reason, maybe because I do not really install um, components like this into my day-to-day -day, uh, normal computer, right? Maybe if I went into like a Windows server uh, that I usually used to manage Beam Backup and Replication, maybe all of this is installed there, but not in my specific um, on my specific PC, right? So once again, you need to log in into, the, into your uh, web UI or from Beam Backup and Replication, Beam Software Appliance version 13. And then from there, you need to download the uh, Beam Backup and Replication Windows console, right? Um, I have not tried to install it in uh, Linux with emulators or with in Mac as well with uh, some emulators. I have not tried any of those. I don't know if they work. I don't even know if those are supported. I just have Windows 11 uh, here or Windows 10 in my case, and I just installed it in the console, right? So um, look at the system requirements, but I'm pretty sure that we that Veeam does support uh, Windows 7 and above for the um, uh, from the backup replication console itself, right? It's not that big. So I think it just, again, it took more time to prepare all of the uh, requirements itself on my computer than really the space that is going to, to take uh, later on. So, 
okay, let's uh, kind of like hide the background so we can focus on uh, on the process. Let's click next over here. And as you can see now, the process, uh, it's been accelerated. This is what it took around uh, six minutes on my, on my computer. It was just about, uh, it, it told us there quickly, the requirements are all met. And now here we can just see a few of the um, new functionalities or uh, features that perhaps we have missed uh, on previous on previous wizards, right? So um, it's good to see uh, this uh, in real time, just because you can you have enough time to read all of these um, and not skip them as we are skipping them <laughs> um, right now within this accelerated process of uh, installation. So okay, this is what you will see once it is installed, right? The backup replication console version 13 is installed, finished, and now you can just go into your um, start and then from here, just look for the Vim backup and replication console, right? So let me type here, Vim. I have been one client and other things. Let's open the console. And then this console, uh, it has been changed, the, uh, the, the splash, the login, because now you can connect to different servers and uh, accept the SSL certificate and so on and so forth, right? Um, even SSO, which we will see on another video. Let's log in with the Vim admin and the credentials from the first video. In your case, of course, your own credentials. And then right now, this is going to connect to the Vim backup and replication. On my case, I have a few, uh, some latency. I think it's because I'm using MPLS, you know, like uh, Ethernet over the uh, electricity to back to the home lab that I don't have it in this specific room. And yeah, I, I, I felt it a bit uh, a bit more slow, but once I'm into an RDP session um, inside the lab, that goes much, much faster. So yeah, in any case, look at this console, look at how fresh this is, right? So uh, I would say that classic is the new, is the new modern because it looks really, really modern. Uh, I don't remember the, the number of, the total number of, um, icons that were uh, changed to for, for this new experience that they they were port from PNG and GPJ you know to uh, SVG but uh, I think they are yeah a couple of hundreds if not more so this is very fresh you can see all of the jobs all of the inventory everything it's here uh, all Proxmox cloud uh, agents everything that you know for years in Veeam <laughs> It, all of all of that is here. You can see all of the platforms are here, please. So you can create all of the jobs, replication, CDP, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? You have all of that just here, right, on the Vim um, software appliance plus the Vim backup and replication console. Um, what options do we have here? Because I know that there's a, uh, some surprises, so we can change the color uh, uh, here. Um, I tend to like like the blue bar. But I know there is a new a new one as well, which is this one over here, which is dark mode. And uh, believe me when I say that it was not easy to change all of the thousands of icons uh, to be compliant, you know, with the uh, uh, with all of this new um, the, the new client, right? This new classic modern, um, if uh, if if I may. Now the, let's take a quick look at the Vim Intelligence, right? So Vim Intelligence, uh, the basic mode has been enhanced as well. Now it's using instead of vector database, now it's using direct uh, agent, uh, uh, well, a subset of agents that it goes and connect in real time uh, and it finds the information fra back from the help center. So to the question about the what's new in uh, Vim Software Appliance version 13, the responses are super detailed with uh, with a lot of links to uh, to check itself. So this is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the enhancements on Vim Intelligence, the, enhan the enhancements on the uh, UI itself, right on the uh, <laughs> on the Windows console itself. And again, I hope this video short, very short, but I hope this video it's useful for you. Now you can find the console in case you miss it for for some reason. Um, and then, yeah, you start doing everything you've been doing, you've been doing uh, for, for years, right? Again, creating jobs, adding iSCSI, adding your QNAP, your Synologies, that uh, same as I've been doing for uh, for a long time, right? Your um, S3 compatible, and so on and so forth, right? All the range the range of features that uh, that Vim has. One that I will start doing right away. 
after I finish this video, it's I'm going to uh, probably record another video <laughs> uh, about uh, the agents because I have a uh, few uh, Windows agents around my uh, my home itself, and I really want to, I really want to protect them, including as well even agent for Mac because I have a new Mac. So I really want to start uh, protecting those, and I can with Beam Software Appliance just using this um, the Beam Backup and Replication Console on Windows as uh, as I've been doing for all of this time. So um, I don't have anything else to uh, to mention. Perhaps that to the question like, oh, but why all why not all the features are on the web client, right? That can be confusing. I totally understand, but of course, as you can imagine. Uh, Veeam has, I don't know, uh, 15, 16 years, uh, maybe a bit more. I don't know. I, I don't have it at the, at the top of my head. Uh, worth of features. And as you can imagine, that is not possible to just uh, roll out all of the f uh, fully feature set into the web client, right? I know uh, for what I've been reading uh, on the forums from Anton Gostev, or he even mentioned it at the same time on uh, during Veeamon, Features will come. Features will be rolled out uh, on the web client. Yes, within updates, of course. Every update, uh, you will start seeing more and more functionality within the web client, right? Like, for example, agent management maybe will go there uh, sooner rather than later and so on, right? So, uh, yes, be patient. If you have any uh, key functionality that you miss, that you use every single day, right? Uh, because as well, that's another thing, right? features that they are more up uh you know day to day like uh replication jobs maybe or uh proxmox or cloud uh agents as i said those that are more common and um and you do them daily maybe those will be added there sooner you know that for example i don't know uh, i would say something random like one accelerators maybe um one accelerator is not that use uh Thanks to the you know the new connectivity that uh, that uh, between data centers now we do have, so that might take more time. I don't know. I'm just saying as a quick example, right? Uh, I don't really know uh, the roadmap in that case, but it's just a small uh, closing comment for you to to get the idea. Get that Windows console uh, installed today if you have Beam Software Appliance. Enjoy all of the fully feature um, that uh, same as uh, same as uh, before, but of course now. They, uh, within this Beam Software Appliance, which of course is pre-hardened, is predictable, and is pre-built as well, right? So you saw it on the first video, next as next, the ISO, and everything was there uh, ready and built for you. So with that, please leave up some comments over here. Uh, maybe share with me if you missed the link or if you already installed it. Uh, by the way, I think that's an ISO as well. So the ISO, you can just get the uh, uh, or a dedicated ISO for the client itself. But I found it more easy just to go to the web uh, to the web client and download it uh, right from there. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was useful. And uh, yeah, looking forward to see you on the next video. Thank you. Bye.